We are now heading into the fourth budget that this government is going to be presenting. And uh, the big challenge uh, that everybody in the education system from top to bottom, from the grassroots all the way up to the policy makers have acknowledged is that children go to, gov go to schools and learning uh, is a challenge. A significant proportion, about 50% of schools as the last Asar told us, 50% uh, students who finish class five can barely read a standard two text. What we need to do is to ensure that these basic foundational skills are provided to students in India, that every student who goes to school in India has basic capabilities to read, write, and do basic arithmetic so that they are able to compete uh, in, in, uh, in the world. I have none. Mm -hmm. I have no expectations from the budget. I don't anticipate that there will be any particular increase in budgetary allocations. We've already been told that about 12% increase is to be expected for the entire Ministry of Human Resource Development. I'm not sure how, whether, how much of this is going to be passed out between higher secondary and uh, primary education. Uh, what I do hope is that this current ongoing effort uh, by the Ministry as well as by the Niti Aayog uh, to build in more regular systems of assessment is used to be able to ensure that states uh, set goals, learning goals and targets for themselves that are based on where we are realistic understanding of where we are today, that these goals are linked to the provision of basic foundational skills that is the minimum expectation that a schooling system should, uh, that parents have for a schooling system to provide and that the entire system from top to bottom, regardless of how much money they have, puts their energies and efforts into ensuring that these basics are fulfilled and that by next year, a child passing out of class five is capable of uh, doing what is expected of a child in class five.